We've all seen oxtail at the store. It is extremely expensive. So that would lead you to believe it's probably pretty rare, right? Wrong. Sit back, relax, and let me explain to you exactly where oxtail comes from. For those of y'all that may not be familiar with oxtail, like my wife is Haitian, so it's that Caribbean culture, but it is a staple in their culture to make dishes with it, usually like stews and, and things of that nature. It's actually considered a delicacy, so that's how I got introduced to it if you've never had it before. But that's neither here nor there. Let's talk about where it comes from. First thing we got to do is we have to define our terms, right? So a cow is a female. And when I say female, I'm talking about a bovine species. That's like, you know, water buffaloes, buffaloes. These are all bovine animals. So like I said, a cow is a female. A heifer is a female that has not had a baby. A steer is a castrated male. And a bull is a male that still got all this junk intact. They're primarily used for breeding. Well, what you might not know, an ox can be any one of those. That's right. When you go to the grocery store and you buy an ox tail, it's just a regular old cow tail. I don't know how they get away with charging so much because it's kind of crazy. Because when I thought of an ox, I was thinking back, you know, Paul Bunyan, the big muscular animals. I thought they were their own animal, but it turns out it's not. It's just a marketing tactic. But anyway... That's what oxtail is, the more you know.